attacked the apostles he attacks everything pro God he attacks everything pro grace he attacks everything pro life he attacks everything pro destiny he attacks everything pro wisdom your assignment is to be on your guard and not let him take advantage of you hallelujah praise the name of the Lord your business was working well but the day you said I would take 20% out of my business to fund the gospel and sponsor children maybe young people who cannot make it satan said what did you say that jesus will benefit from this business all right i'm on my way coming hallelujah someone wants to bless you that's when they forget someone promises to lift you that is when they forget they vow calling the name of Jesus that this week you will smile that is when they forget is your assignment to force them to remember no 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 listen if you are a businessman here and things have not been working please when it's time to pray I'm releasing my faith with you be serious and pray be serious and pray don't say my uncle was just made a commissioner or my uncle was just made a senator the arm of flesh will fail you all. You need to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. You go to bed and you see yourself in a grave. Wake up and close that grave. Wake up and close that grave. And curse the spirit that dug that grave. Hallelujah. Parents. Don't watch, you see what, I'm not scaring you, but you see the kind of disaster that is happening? Bless your children, speak over them. Declare that you go out and you come in. The Bible says you're going out and coming in. You will not go out and get missing. You go out and I expect you to come in. No one chance, no satanic driver, anybody who is looking for blood and looking for a child minus you and your children. In the name of Jesus, I said minus you and your children. I'm not wasting your time when the Lord puts a burden in my heart like this it is because he's keeping you and protecting you and opening your eyes to see certain things for some of you you have lacked discernment for some of you it is carelessness for some of you it is what's the third one ignorance for some of you abuse but for some, you've done everything right. Satan has just decided to test God's integrity in your life. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Doors, close, help us, go away, jobs, whatever it is. People who used to like you and want to help you, they see you and they say you are such a nice person. You have a great heart. Let me see how I can help you. Let me see how I can help your family. How about those who even go through the interview for the jobs? They've called your name. They've told you everything. They said, all right, you'll hear from us in two weeks. Two weeks have become two years. In destiny, your portion does not come to you. You force it to come. Did you hear what I said? He said, right from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom suffered violent. And ladies and gentlemen, the spiritually violent will take it by force. Ministry will not rise till you force it to rise. Your finances will not rise. It will go up and down. He says, strong men retain wealth. You need to know how to command your portion. hallelujah hallelujah now let me show you a key I want us to pray I don't want time to go before we pray because I have to fulfill this assignment let me stop here and show you a key I don't know how many you can take but I want to show you the keys for total deliverance you need the key you need the key knowing what God wants to do does not make it happen in your life you must know the will of God and the strategy to bring that will to pass learn this it is not enough to know what God wants to do the knowledge of the will of God does not translate to experiencing his will you need to know the will of God and then in addition 
know the strategy for many people they know what God wants to do but they do not know the strategy they were not patient God told you I will do this in your life and they just said amen if listen 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 thank you Jesus God just put this in my heart listen it is God's will plus God's strategy that equals God's dimension of results God's will plus your strategy will not work you can know the will of God God wants me to do this God wants me to go here but if you don't stay usually he does not reveal his will and his strategy at the same time you need to have spiritual understanding to know that if you have received a blueprint of God's will then stay until the strategy comes just because he wants to give you Jericho does not mean you you invent how to defeat Jericho you may use a sword and die like he did not direct you it is God's will plus God's strategy God says you should start a church let him give you the strategy on how to build it God said you should start an NGO don't invent your strategy God will never speak to you and not give you a strategy it's just that sometimes a strategy does not come at the same time you have to wait your matching order is when the wheel and the strategy arrives did you hear what I'm saying now God said he will give me a house in Abuja you may say that is true but by what strategy you have to wait God said I should relocate to Abuja and come and do ministry but what strategy you can hang around this city for forever and find out that doors does not open for you because the strategy is not there God said I should expand my businesses to Europe and America you may say and then you just get up and start doing it in the flesh most times the trouble is is not that people did not hear God is that they do not know that in actualizing prophetic things the speakings of God it is the knowledge of his will plus the grace to stay until you receive the strategy the moment the strategy comes the miracle is about to happen yes water can be turned to wine but by what strategy yes Jordan can part the Red Sea can part but by what strategy yes bread can remain and not be spent all through famine but by what strategy yes the dead child can come back to life but by what strategy every miracle you see in the Bible was a combination of the will of God and a strategy the will of God and a divine strategy it is the assignment of the Holy Spirit in partnership with the word to reveal is the reason why no part of any two people no matter how close even if a husband and wife their spiritual parts will not be the same the destiny may be the same but the strategy allocated is unique bespoke to only you Two people can be involved in real estate and on the same day God can tell them in one year I will establish you but the strategy is different for someone God can use a strategy and give him an ambitious project set up an estate and announce it and I will send men and he will take that risk and God will honor it and that will be how God lifts him the other person will do that and crash for that person, his strategy will be to go and submit to a real estate company and learn and scale and grow that way. Never assume a strategy just because you heard God correctly. When he speaks, don't just know that he has said to do this. Lord, how do you intend for it to come to pass? I like Mary. How shall these things be? Not what? She knew the what? But how shall these things be seeing that I know not a man and the strategy was revealed to her she now agreed with the will and the strategy be it unto me according to your word apostle God is prospering people the strategies differ are we together now 